Hello. I think this is turning into like just a primarily acting blog thing. This is a vlog video. That's the point. <clears throat> also, these are my glasses. I found them in a class yesterday and they hadn't been claimed and they're not prescription. They're just plastic because they're cool kids that don't need glasses but just look cool in them. So I stole them and they're mine now. And if anyone recognizes these that is missing them, you know where to find me. But more importantly, I sort of made a breakthrough in my acting class yesterday. The class, I don't know if I've talked about it, it's called Stretch. Um, and it's this improv class where you're, you're given a situation and you have to go in a certain direction with it for your character to you know, stretch your ability and you know get you to do things that aren't in your comfort zone naturally like at first mine was anger because I don't go anger to anger first I go to sadness first if if I'm getting hurt so it's hard for me to get angry about things and I'm realizing this in other scenes that I'm working on um, but I'm getting better at it so that's good so we've moved me on to or Janice the teacher that runs it she's the one that sets up the improv situations and it, it's conflicts and stuff like that between a couple people but Bet anywhere between two and seven like the largest stretch I was in had like seven people in it it was crazy so the stretch that I have now is we've moved on to kind of bigness and just going with any emotion any emotion specifically that I feel and running with it and I think I'm I think for myself I need to add spontaneity and first reaction to that because the big just just bigness isn't really working with the stretches that I've had so far it's just been so you're crazy and you always go to the first idea and yeah it's not really helpful direction so that's, that's frustrating in itself. After the scene that we did yesterday, and it was just not good, you know, I was, I was staying too close in. Classes is weird, because you can see yourself in the image capture. So, for the first time after the stretch, I saw the wall that I've been hitting, and my safe place, apparently, is logic and keeping things so that they make sense, so that I can, you know, jump from place to place to place in a progression that makes sense to me. And I can't yet, not yet, I can't go outside that box, you know? And it's hard. And, but now at least I know where to go from. Oh yeah, this is the part that I didn't mention. Um, so I kind of broke down and cried in front of the class. I mean, there's only maybe ten people there that night. But, yeah, so that was fun. I was encouraged to believe that it was a good thing that I'm making a breakthrough and all that, and I'm, you know, I'm, I'm seeing that, but it still sucked, you know? And I, so I had to leave early. I couldn't stay there. I was too emotional. Because, you know, we're, we're all, we've always been told that emotion is a bad thing, and that's why people see plays, because people, believe it or not, like emotion, but at the same time it doesn't make them feel comfortable. That's why people go to movies, to feel things. But plays are better. Sometimes. Plays can be really bad, but good plays are good. <laughs> but anyway, on my way to the parking lot, I passed this beginning acting class, and you know, all these a bunch of people in pairs with scripts in their hands reading scenes and and everything and as I walked away I was just smiling and thinking you guys have no idea what you're getting yourselves into if you want to keep doing this you're gonna have to face some harsh realities about yourself and you're not gonna like it that's how it goes so good things it's a good thing. It really is. Keeping that in mind. I like these glasses. They make me feel smart.
okay, doing sexy things on YouTube, really not a good idea. Alright, peace out. Shh.